Welcome back. We are looking at the S&P 500. And uh, yes, last week we just continue trading in the same range. We are in the moment trading sideways. Uh, we can put up a range here between around 3,000 and the top of this range of around 3,200. So, yes, since the coronavirus started, we had this massive uh, downturn and then we had uh, this Im really impressive spike, uh, basically because the Fed is pumping uh, money into the system, lowering interest rate and so on. This has nothing to do with economic fundamentals. This has all to do with uh, the acts of the Federal Reserve and technically um, central banks around the world. Um, however, momentum has stalled. We are at the moment, and we have been for quite a long time, trading sideways. Uh, we hit the highs, and then we we uh, we uh, went. We uh, had a reversal, and now we're technically trading sideways. There is uh, one very important detail here. And that is that we had a significant trend line that was broken uh, last week. So if I put up a trend line here, um, sorry, here, we had a significant trend line that was broken um, last week. We tried to bounce back and then it basically broke again on on uh, on Thursday and we basically ended uh, our Monday and our Friday sessions below this trend line so something is thinking something big is going to happen within the next uh, few trading days whether or not we continue on this path, uh, which basically is a, a V-shaped recovery, uh, or we go lower from here, um, that is to be seen. Um, I would imagine that we continue for a few more trading days, trading sideways, before we have um, a, a breakout to the upside or we retest some of these lower levels. I could imagine us trying to test these levels again here, around 2,800. Uh, uh, I could imagine we have an, have a, a down to 2,800 and then going up from this from this uh, area here. I can imagine that happening. Um, we got way overhead of ourselves. This uh, this is technically nothing to do with um, the real economy. This is pure um, interaction by the Federal Reserve. Um, you can look at airlines, cruise lines, transportation, um, hotel industry, restaurant, uh, restaurants, the entertainment um, overall service sector has just been devastated and so on we have record highs um, uh, unemployment and and people filing for unemployment benefits and so on so for us to all of a sudden be at the same um, the same level as prior to the coronavirus that is that is just completely unrealistic but this is the world we live in, and um, yeah, the market is what it is. Um, I would, I am not a buyer at the moment. I am just going to be on the sidelines, just waiting, looking what technically is going to happen. Um, at the moment, almost every stock out there is overvalued because earnings have completely collapsed for for most companies, not all companies. There are some companies that have benefited uh, substantially from the coronavirus. The stay-home 
um, stocks have benefited hugely and uh, their earnings have increased and yeah you should expect uh, the stocks for those kind of companies also to go up however for stocks like very extremely popular ones that make no sense at the moment like carnival cruise and the airline stocks and so on you're not supposed to see those stocks in, uh, increasing uh, in this period that is just p- pure speculation uh, we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement levels. No, that was wrong. Sorry. Fibonacci retracement level here. And we can see that we have the first 23.6% Fibonacci around 3,000. So this area here should act as support and also just the symbolic of the 3000 number um, if this breaks we will um, test the uh, 50 uh, moving average and then we'll go if that breaks we'll go to 30 um, 38.2 and lower on to this um, area here which is around the, the 2800 um, area which technically should be a massive um, support if we break this then there then we'll go much lower then we'll go to the scenario where where markets will go far 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 down so we could see something like this but if this breaks then we'll go much lower we will probably we will test in these lows and probably go much lower than that but I don't really see that happening as long as the Fed is pumping liquidity into the market. So if we look at the, the technical analysis here, uh, we have a massive uh, spike. Uh, and this is all related to um, Apple coming out saying that it's going, they are going to close some of their stores um, in the southern states due to the increase in coronavirus um yeah massive red spike here we can see that the rsi is is uh, trailing downwards so we expect this to go and test these levels again um and we can also see that the uh, macd is also uh, trailing downwards uh we are in the mid range of the of the Bollinger Band, still quite a lot of uh, volatility. Uh, the, we had a quite a big spike in the in the VIX, um, indicating that yes, we're still not at the woods yet. This is far, far, far from over. We still don't understand uh, or know the effects that this lockdown has had on the economy, and only the in the next few months will tell and we'll know because of companies' earnings. What is the state of most companies? Will they need bailouts and so on? Most companies were were shut down and had zero income for 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 months. And that of course will uh, have an enormous effect on on, on some companies like Carnival Cruise is burning through like billion dollars every month. Uh, some of the airlines are are burning through ten, tens of millions uh, every day. Um, so, so they have accumulated a lot of debt, and that is that is something that's going to uh, affect uh, most of the companies. Uh, not just in the United States and Europe, but technically around the world, that they have accumulated so much debt in this period that that is going to be a real burden on their on their performance uh, in the in, in technically the long term. So what we can expect, uh, we if we look at the uh, stochastic conversion, we see that we have started going up, and then we are. We are testing again the, the signal line here, indicating that we will continue further down. 
um, it is quite uncommon when you have the stochastic going up and then making a U-turn that it all, all, all of a sudden and then does another U-turn. When the stochastic does a U-turn like this, it most likely uh, goes back down before uh, to touching the red line before it basically goes up again. So we can expect on Monday and um, probably Tuesday as well uh, for um, for some downward movement, and that will make sense. We will mostly uh, test these lows uh, again before uh, we go and test the uh, uh, two thousand eight hundred levels. Um, yes. So until then. I don't expect this market to go and test the highs. That um, something um, extremely positive has to come out of the marketplace before we go and test and fill this gap and test these highs. Uh, if a vaccine was discovered to, to, uh, in the weekend, yeah, probably. But still, even though we find a vaccine, there's so much, um, uh, there's so much so many challenges for the economy that it, it will still take time for this economy to to recover and to test these all-time highs. It will happen eventually. I just don't think it will happen yet. Uh, the Nasdaq has already broken its, its all-time high, but the but um, S&P 500 is different. It's um, The Nasdaq is ba basically the the tech companies that have benefited hugely from this uh, uh, from this uh, situation uh, while the S&P 500 is is um, yeah it's not just tech companies it is all sectors of, of the United States economy that have been uh, significantly affected by the coronavirus so i believe that we will continue trading sideways and uh, I believe that we go and retest the 2,800 levels before we uh, go up again. If the 2,800 levels uh, were to break, then we would go much lower and test the, the, the lows again. So uh, thank you for, for, um, uh, for watching and uh, good luck and... You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Thank you very much.